Hi friends, here in this video, I'll be explaining the definition regarding thin shells. So, let's get started. Now, thin shells are those shells in which the internal diameter of the shell is greater than 20 times the thickness of the shell. So, that relation, I'll write it over here. that the diameter of the thin shell is greater than 20 times its thickness. So therefore, I can also say that diameter by thickness ratio that is greater than 20. And for that, I will draw the diagram as well. So here I have drawn a thin shell which is having an internal diameter of capital D. The thickness of the shell is small t which is used to store the pressurized liquid or pressurized fluid. And in case of thin shells, there is very little difference between the internal diameter and the external diameter that is almost they are same and the reason being that the thickness is quite less here. And that thickness as I have shown here that the diameter by thickness ratio is greater than 20. In other words, we can say that the thickness is it is diameter divided by 20 means the thickness is less than I can even write the relation in this way that therefore the thickness would be less than the internal diameter divided by 20. So that is the def definition regarding the thin shells. Now when we go for thin shells, there are basically three types of thin shells. First is thin cylindrical shell. Next thin spherical shell. And then cylindrical shell which is also a thin cylindrical shell with hemispherical ends. So basically when we talk about thin shells, these are the three kinds of thin shells that is thin cylindrical, thin spherical and cylindrical shell with hemispherical ends. Now these thin shells pressure vessels are like for example, th these are the cylinders like we can say LPG cylinder which is used to store LPG that is an example of a thin cylinder. Similarly, pressure cooker is an example of thin cylindrical shell wherein we are using high pressurized gas or fluid that is stored inside that thin cylinder and then as per the defining condition as I had explained over here, if the thickness is less than diameter by 20, then that is called as a thin shell whereas if the ratio is that is if the thickness is greater than d by 20 then such kind of shells are called as thick cylindrical shells. This is the condition for a thick cylindrical shell. So what happens in case of these thin cylindrical shell is that because of the internal pressure this cylinder may burst and there are two chances of bursting either it may burst circumferentially that is it can be divided into two, two halves or it can break longitudinally and that is regarding the thin cylinders. Similarly, when we have thick cylindrical shells, these are used to store fluids which are at a greater amount of pressure. For example, in case of nuclear reactors, we are having the thick cylindrical shells. So in short, that was just an explanation regarding what is meant by thin shells. At the end, if you will find my videos helpful, you can like, share, comment and subscribe our channel and share it amongst your family and friends. Thanks for watching.